what is up everybody welcome back to the channel just wanted to kind of walk you through um just some basic numbers basic numbers on on some conversion ads um that i have going on and just kind of the differences and the multiple ad sets that i have set up and just just an overall i want to i want to kind of just give you an overview of of this entire campaign um what we're running for this actual um business owner is promoting an event okay so it's all about booking people um getting people to purchase a ticket um to an event that's going on in april okay this is a huge event uh real estate investors and um the whole objective is to is to run conversion ads to get people to buy and so this is a campaign that we've been running for for a while um and i wanted to kind of just walk you through some some basic numbers and and i'm that's why I, I always talk about on these on these videos you guys you have to be in it to win it you have to be willing to spend some money and you have to kind of look at it as as somewhat gambling in the beginning you have to put out a few different ads to see which one pops you don't know which one's going to pop i count i i speak to countless business owners and 99% of them are Mickey Mouse in it. 99% of them run an ad here and there. One ad here and there. They boosted a post for 15 bucks two months ago. It's like, dude, you have to be in it to win it. You have to be running multiple ads. You have to be running them every single day. Um, or else you're just not going to give yourself, yourself a chance to see which one which one's the winner. And so all these different ads, except for this top one up here, um, but these ads down here are all, all pretty much trying to do the same thing. Um, this one right here, running a conversions ad. Um, let me show you, let me open up this one conversions and it's going to, um, let me show you this part over here. Um, let me scroll down. This one's a $20 daily budget and this is actually targeting look-alike audiences um, right here the audiences so when you go and create a custom audience so for example you can create a custom audience around those who purchased you can create a custom audience around those who landed on your pages um, you can create look-alike you can create custom audiences for anything that's happening any activity that's happening on on your specific web pages okay and so in this case, what we did is we created lookalike audiences based around people who engaged with our Facebook business page, people who engaged with our Instagram page, people who have um, viewed um, our website, people who subscribed to our list. We just create lookalike audiences around those custom audiences. And then down here, bunched in a, a few different cities now this is one strategy and again everything is testing this this campaign isn't converting too well at all um what some people would do is is bunch all these cities in and then and then some people will will do one at a time and just create multiple ad sets around would do one for atlanta do a separate ad for los angeles a separate ad for orange county right so some people would do it that way and then some people bunch them all in. Um, down here, targeting women 24 to 65. Um, in fact, let me make note of that because what I'm gonna be doing is, is in the next video, you'll see me set up an Instagram ad, but um, let me just make note. And then not we're not putting any detail targeting, just letting it run and letting Facebook run it automatic placements and just let facebook convert okay so this is a conversions ad we're we're optimizing for purchases okay we're trying to get people to purchase and that's the way the actual ad looks the ad set looks right there and then the actual um ad it's this video it's actually a video that we're running it on and that video is over here. So simple video, right? Simple video. And then we have, um, let's see down here. There goes the text. There goes the headline. Um, 
and then there goes the actual URL. Okay, so let me copy this real quick. Okay, so that's the same, that's the same one, that's fine. Okay, perfect. And then the learn more button, there's the learn more button. And then there's our, our pixel. So that that's one of them, which I'll, I'll go over all the numbers with you as well on all of them, but I wanted to kind of show you an example of, of one of them, but let me show you. And so that one's not, that one's not performing well at all. And let me go, what I always do is I check lifetime, so I'll just hit update. Um, and then this one right here is not, is not converting very well. And then the second one event responses, we've had three of them. So this one right here, we click on edit and this is running one for e event responses. So that's an ad right there that we have running towards this event. It's an event set up through Facebook. And so we just optimize it for event responses and with that one, we've gotten three people to purchase, spent 18 bucks. And then down here, this is the one that I wanted to show you. This one, this one's doing, doing well. Um, 13 cells so far. So when we open up the first one, it's conversions, right? We're, con we're optimizing for conversions. And then when you click on the ad set, these are different ad sets that are going on right now. And it's this one right here that is actually converting very, very well. So in this case, what I'm doing over here is again, optimizing for purchases, running the conversions um, for purchases. And then what I am doing down here is running them to custom audiences, to Facebook engagers, to Instagram in engagers, and I'm excluding people who already purchased, okay? Because I don't want, those people to continue to see the ad, right? Um, there's the age, there's the location, uh, no detail targeting needed. Um, and then conversions, automatic placements, and that's that. And then the actual ad over here in the campaign is also, this one's a long form text, and you'll see me set up an Instagram ad. So if you if you watch the next video, um, that is coming out tomorrow, actually. So it should be out, you know, by the time you're watching this. Actually, you, it may not be, but it's a video that I'm going to drop tomorrow regarding setting up an Instagram ad. I'm going to use this long form text for that one as well. So down here, this long text, this long text is the ad, you guys. Long ass text. Look at that long ass text. But guess what? It's actually converting. It's actually converting. Um, so with this one, we've gotten, let's go back to on a daily, on a daily budget of 10 bucks a day. Um, this one has already gotten 12 purchases. So $11 per purchase, which is not, not bad at all. So that's optimizing for, for conversions. And that's what you're really looking at, man. You're really looking at purchases, your results, right? That's what you're optimizing for the results and then the cost per result. So that's what you, what you want to look at is is your is is those two categories right there um and really those are the most important that's what you're looking at 13 purchases looks like we just got one 13 purchases um 27 dollars per purchase and 352 spent so far so that's an ongoing ad that is that is doing very very well and so in tomorrow's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to run an instagram uh, instagram ad um using a lot of the the data that i that i ran with this with this ad right here so that'll be that'll be tomorrow's ad but that's kind of how i go over the conversions you guys just looking at the results looking at the cost per result looking at the amount spent um and if you don't know how to set up a conversions ad you have to first set up your custom conversions so it's not just about coming over here clicking the green button and then and then optimizing for conversions that's what you're going to do for sure. So any of you guys that are looking to capture leads, any of you guys that are looking to uh, make sales online, you guys are selling something, right? Or you're getting, getting people to register for some type of event or some type of webinar. That's conversions for sure. But before you can run that, you have to set up a custom 
conversion. And that's when you're gonna come over here, hit the three lines and come down here to custom conversions. So that is step one. Um, well, to tell you the truth, step one is installing your pixel. You have to do that for sure. That's number one. Number two is set up your custom conversions. Okay, so what I'll tie to the end of this is um, setting up your pixel. I'll just tie that one to the end of this video. So, so stay to the end and you'll see that video come up pixels because that's step one. Step one is installing your pixel on your actual page. Over here, we have our Facebook pixel tracking everything that's going on. Um, but you have to set that pixel up first. And then step two, you have to set up a custom conversion. Okay. So go into my playlist, go into the, into, into Facebook ads playlist, and you'll see custom conversions if you don't know how to set that up. But I have a video on how to set up your custom conversions. That's step two. And then without step one and two, you cannot do step three. Okay. Step three is run the ad conversions, but install that pixel first set up your custom conversions, and then run it under conversions right here. And track those numbers, and that right there, you guys, is for lead capture, for event registration, for webinar registration, and for making sales online. All right, you guys, so hopefully that helped. I'll see you on the next video.